Kodak Black gets sentenced to prison. Which, by the way, it seems that he thinks is a spa or something because he has no concern with going to prison and he actually seems like he prefers it there. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah so apparently Kodak Black has at least one of his problems that he he has with the with the law solved okay I, I don't want to call it solved but one of the court cases that Kodak Black has been um one of the cases that Kodak Black has been going to court for has been he's gotten his time Kodak Black will be receiving 46 months in prison on federal weapons charges. Okay, real quick. So everybody could differentiate the different charges that Kodak Black has against them because he seems to love charges. Okay, so basically, a while back, Kodak Black purchased some guns. But he didn't purchase the guns illegally. Well, he did purchase the guns illegally. But he went to a legal gun seller where you have to fill out paperwork, federal paperwork. When Kodak Black filled out this federal paperwork, he left some very, very important information off of the paperwork. Matter of fact, he just flat out lied. They have a question on the uh, questionnaire, whatever the case, whatever you want to call it. They have a question where they ask you if you are currently under investigation or I believe going to court for a crime that you might have to serve more than one year for. Kodak Black lied and said no. Remember, Kodak Black is currently, besides this mess going on with this court case and uh, beside whatever other legal problems Kodak Black has, Kodak Black also has an issue in I believe South Carolina where he is being accused of raping a female. Real quick, I'll explain what it is. You could decide how you feel about it, the situation. It's rape if you ask me once the female says no. But, okay, so I'll explain what happened. Basically, Kodak Black had, a, I guess, a concert or something, and he invited a uh, person back to his room, a female back to his room where they were going to have, you know, I guess you know the pleasures of the flesh so when he invited this female back to his room she was all with it she's ready to go yes kodak black give it to me that's what she was saying not what i'm saying <laughs> somebody's gonna take that sound bite and run with it anyway so when they get ready to you know get down and do the nasty kodak black decides he does not want to wear a condom she wanted him to wear a condom he refused to put the condom on. He forced himself. This is her story, by the way. This is not me saying this is what I think happened. This is literally her story. Then she says Kodak Black forced himself on her. And as she began to try to fight, Kodak Black bit her in the face. So that's the problem he has in South Carolina. Yes, she was of age. I believe the young lady was about 19 years old, 18 or 19 at the time of the occurrence. So since he already had that charge, when they asked him, I just cannot say that word. When the inquiry came up on whether he had a case pending where he might serve more than a year in prison, he was supposed to write yes, he wrote no, so then he lied on a federal document, on a federal form. That is a crime. Okay, so now we all the way up to date for anybody that did not know what was going on. And I already told you they gave him 46 months. So I'm not holding anybody here. If you want to leave, I mean, whatever. But, you know, you can listen to whatever else I have to say on this. Anyway, the, the federal judge actually uh, sentenced him to 46. 
and the state was asking for anywhere between 46 to 57 months, not years, by the way, months, while Kodak Black's lawyer wanted somewhere between 37 to 44 months or less. Obviously, they don't, they like, come on, man, why are you going to give him time? You understand what I'm saying? Let Why don't you just let him do like a flyover, like, you know, an Iron Man, when they want an Iron Man to do something, he was like, hey, we could, you know, have Spider-Man show up. Anyway, so the point is, uh, Kodak Black, the, the reason why he's in trouble for these guns, by the way, is because of a whole nother charge. This is what I'm trying to say. It's like Kodak Black is, I don't know if he's actively trying to go to jail. Like, he's like, this free life is for the birds. I don't know what Kodak Black is saying, to be honest with you. But the way that they found out about, um, the, okay, so these guns that he bought legally had serial numbers on it. And everybody know they're his guns were used in a shooting. I'll explain what the shooting is real quick so everybody could be up to date because these are also other charges against Kodak Black. Now, uh, what I'm about to tell you, I was actually informed of by a uh, source that actually lives down there in Broward County. So basically what happened is Kodak Black has a cousin that lives in the projects or frequents the projects. He was at the projects at this time. Kodak Black pulls up to the projects. When he pulled up to the projects, he saw his cousin there. They looked at each other briefly for a little while. They, they, uh, they I don't know what you want to call it. They freaking eyeballed each other. Uh, <laughs> they ice grilled each other. And then Kodak Black gets in the car. And he leaves with his entourage. They come back shortly thereafter. When they came back after, they came back a blazing. They were fire. They just it was it was shooting. It was firefight right in the middle of the projects. Um, now what you have to understand for everybody that lives in the inner city, and when I say the inner city, I mean cities that the project buildings aren't one floor. The project buildings are like seventeen floors, twenty floors. You got to get on an elevator to go up to the top floor. A lot of times when you have, uh, when you live somewhere like in Florida, they can't build but so high because the ground there is swampland. They can't build but so high. So a lot of the projects is basically just one level. So when you're having a shootout in the projects and you miss your target, which in the hood, people do a lot of missing of shoot of, of shots. You're shooting directly into people's houses. So there's this one house that, had kids and everybody in the house that the, the that the bullets went all through the house oh man it's crazy and there was kids there playing video it's in the middle of the, it's like at a, i don't know when the shootout happened probably about nine ten o'clock anyway so um at that particular shootout one of the guns that kodak black's people were using fell that gun was recovered so he's in trouble for buying the gun illegally but that same gun was used in a shootout, just so we could be clear on this. So anybody that thinks that Kodak Black will be free in 46 months, I'm sorry to tell you, this might not be the case. I don't I don't know if I'm sorry to tell you that, though, because he's in the projects. You know, they could have killed some babies. So, you know, I don't I don't know how sorry I am to tell you that. So um, also the person that's his cousin, they keep saying he's like a rapper. He's not a rapper. He's just he's just a guy that they go to the studio. They have fun in the studio. They like making songs. Some people just like going to the studio to make songs. It's fun. It's recreation. People can do with their money what they want to do with their money. Stop getting mad at people who's 40 and 50 years old and 30 years old talking about, why y'all going to the studio for? It's a young man's game. So they, I, I don't plan on going to the NBA. That means I can't go to the park. I can't hoop out because, you know, I'm not going to the NBA. <laughs> I don't know. People are weirdos. Anyway, um, so uh, Kodak Black is expected to get about forty six months. Uh, well, I mean, he was given forty six months. Pardon me, but he still has other cases that he's fighting. Uh, one in South Carolina, and also the shooting that happened at that uh projects. And besides all of that, he then sped away, and I believe his home. One of the people that was with Kodak Black, I believe, actually died. I believe that um because he he got shot. I believe that's the that's probably the guy that dropped the gun, the guy that got shot. So uh they were speeding away and they actually 40 miles down the road, I guess on the way to the hospital, trying to take him to the hospital, they ended up crashing into a tree. 
So, uh, yeah, that guy never made it to the hospital, I don't believe. And the rental car that they used was in Kodak Black's name. And the gun that was dropped at the scene of the shooting was Kodak Black's gun. So, I don't know. We'll see what happened. I don't know what to tell you. I can't tell you that uh, one of the guns that was purchased was uh, for $2,000. They purchased it in January. It's a SIG MPXK9. Um, I don't know if that was the gun that was dropped or not. That could be. Who knows? But we'll see what happens. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it down in the comment section. And just because I'm curious, does anybody else think that Kodak Black don't care about being in prison? Like, Kodak Black might actually be cool with being in prison. Does anybody else think that? Because I think Kodak Black is okay. I mean, they be like, yo, Kodak, we're going to give you six, you know, 60 months. Kodak Black is like, I could do that standing on my head. They like, yo, Kodak Black. We're going to give you 120 months. Kodak Black is like, thank you, judge. I I, I, I was hoping you wasn't just going to give me 90. Like, this is the kind of, like, because of the way he carries himself, it just seems like Kodak Black wants to be locked up. I don't get it. I could be wrong. What do y'all guys think about it? Please leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.